We've been talking to Drenda Cassie about her latest book, Fight Like Heaven, a cultural guide to understanding life as we should know it, but there are people that want you to understand life the way they want you to know it. And uh, Drenda, I have this question. Your book's amazing, of course. You can't really put it down. It's just, it's just one revelation after revelation underneath what's happening. And, of course, Thank the you. surface level is uh, all, all we see on the surface is what they want you to hear. Exactly. But what I had a question is I was, I've been shocked lately. You know, this economic forum uh, sounds good by name, economic forum. It sounds mm -hmm. like it's going to help the world, you know, advance right. economically. But yet I've been surprised by this woke culture, and it seems all these businesses are convinced of this reset you're talking about and have already adopted these right. concepts that are just shocking to me. So can you fill us in a little bit more about right. what is happening to right. the well, world? Gary, the reason why these corporations are on board is this was a plan a thousand corporations were involved in the World Eco Economic Forum's plan, and you'd be shocked to see, but here are some of the leaders that are part of the, the they started as young global leaders, now they're global leaders for tomorrow. So you've got all the world leaders pretty much. You've got Putin in Russia, Bill Gates at Microsoft, Justin Trudeau in Canada, Angela Merkel in Germany, Emmanuel Macron of France, uh, Gavin Newsom of California, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern of New Zealand, Tony Blair from England. You've got George Stephanopoulos, uh, television personalities, uh, actors, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook, Sheryl Sandberg at Facebook, uh, Marissa Marriott, um, Yahoo, Sergey Brin and Larry Page, uh, Google co-founders, Peter Thiel at PayPal. Uh, you've got all these folks, the eBay co-founder, Jimmy Wales, uh, Eric Schmidt, the former Google, Google CEO, Jeff Bezos from Amazon, Jack Ma, uh, Alexander Soros. You've got all of these folks. All these companies uh, you a mentioned thousand are corporations. huge media. I mean, there's a thousand companies, you say. The ones you mentioned are the, the media that censors now. Okay. You can't even exactly. get through the wall. Yes. Uh, so They what? control the narrative. They control the agenda. That's how they brainwash people. Okay, so let me help, help me understand. What is the objective of this new reset. It is a new world order, just as the Bible says, Gary. Mm -hmm. It's a new world order. And you can look, if you look at the World Economic Forum's man they call their prophet, his name is Harari, Dr. Harari. Uh, he's married to a man. He is the one who is their prophet that speaks into the uh, Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum. And this is what he said. You don't have any answer in the Bible on what to do when humans are no longer useful in the economy. You need completely new ideologies, completely new religions, and not from the Middle East, but from Silicon Valley. They'll oh, give wow. people visions based on technology, visions yes. based on technology. Everything that the old religions promised, happiness, justice, and even eternal life, but here on earth with the help of technology and not after death, with the help of some supernatural being. He goes on and says things that are blasphemous to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, he's just Jesus Christ rising from the dead, being the son of God. This is all fake news. We're giving up on gods, but we'll turn ourselves into new kinds of gods. This is putting technology uh, in a place of God. Transhumanism is a piece of that. I share that in the book. Yeah, uh, science yeah. is replacing evolution by natural selection. Of course, they don't believe in God. They say, not the intelligent design of some God above the clouds, but our intelligent design. This is the Tower of Babel, Gary, all over mm. when they said, come, let us build a tower. Let us make a name for ourselves. This is Satan. He's behind this agenda. He's puffed these people up with pride. They're very intelligent, but professing themselves to be wise They've become fools. Right. Uh, they've exchanged God's word, God's uh, no, the knowledge of God for worship of the creation. They're using ecology, environment, and social equity issues to drive this. And wow, we can yeah. see these pieces happening in China where you use face recognition and digital currency to be able to control who gets anything in the economy, who gets this, who gets to uh, make money. And so these corporations, back to your question, they jumped on board seeing this as the inevitable thing that's going to happen. 
and there are corporations, if I name them, they're your everyday. I've shown you some leaders, but we're talking about businesses across the board. Uh, even thousand, in the past, yeah. uh, whose former leadership would have been Christians uh, who own those businesses. Uh, maybe that's open 24-7 where you get all of your products and things. Their children, we've got second generation kids in media, second generation kids in um, all kinds of areas, in, in uh, commerce and trade, in shops and retail. And what's happened yeah. is they've been trained in Marxism, socialism, communism, Marxism. And so the second generation, just like we were flattered in the 70s and I was told, hey, the feminist movement, you need to be a, a, a forerunner for that. And the schools indoctrinated us. And then you grow up into doing these things and driving these agendas. That's what's happening. Yeah. Okay, so a thousand companies are already on board with this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming that what's in it for them is profit. Uh, money. Obviously, money. As you teach moves so it. Yeah, well, money Gary, makes the world you turn. say there, there, you know, there's only two kingdoms. Yeah, it's two it's kingdoms. It's either mammon, the earth curse system that Satan controls, as you yeah. teach it so well, that Satan is the god of this world, little g, as you say. Yes, uh, little g. And yes. the other is the serving the living God and only coming through to God through Jesus Christ. That's what he said. Uh, that's the only door to God. Exactly. And so it's one or the other. Everybody, I talk about in the book, you are in one kingdom well, or the other. if you're enslaved, okay, that's mm -hmm. the, we've been teaching for 30 some years, uh, helping people understand about debt, how to get out of debt, why you need to be out of debt, because slaves don't have options. Right. And the intent is to enslave you. Right. And of course, um, we are now sitting in a place where inflation, everything is going up, interest rates are going They're up. They're trying to destroy our country. It's, it's trying to, it's bringing pressure against people. I mean, we just did a study the other day, 68% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. That's nothing left over. Mm -hmm. uh, any kind of severe raise of prices would definitely affect their livelihood. Yeah, they have no cash reserves. But Dorinda, a lot of these things you're talking about, uh, just don't, I just don't see it out in the open. And you have made it your, your goal to uh, bring this out so yes. that especially Christians can be aware of this. But you've launched a brand new uh, program, channel, yes. new channel that is bringing this out. That's your, uh, your desire is to help people understand this. Drenda yes. on guard. Yes, it's my cry, Gary, in this hour. So I wrote Fight Like Heaven, a cultural guide to living on guard to expose these seven areas that they've uh, attacked and that they're converging against the Lord. They'll not win. It'll not turn out like they said. Oh, of course not. And the people of God will, and I make that clear in the book, where we yeah. are in the hour, and uh, you know, the people of God will be very happy how this all ends, but we have to do our part. God is calling and on us. And we need to be prepared. So I was praying one night, as you know, and I was saying, Lord, what is my mission right now? I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother. How do I help bring light to this? And I heard the voice of the Lord, and he just shared with me that just like John the Baptist, you know, they, they, they came to him and said, what are you, who are you? Are you the Messiah? Are you this? Are you that? And John said this, and this is what I believe is my mission this hour, and I believe it's the mission of the body of Christ. And he said, no, he's not any of those things. He said, I'm simply one crying in the desert, prepare the pathway for the Lord. And you and I are preparing the pathway for the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we do that by every means declaring the truth and by occupying all the mountains and speaking the truth. So I did start this Drend on Guard channel, and it is very much, it is about warfare, right? It is about speaking the truth uh, and exposing great. darkness. Yeah. Because only with exposing the truth and, and exposing darkness and bringing the truth, Gary, can people see, oh, I'm in sin. I need to repent. I need a Savior. I need Jesus. And there's salvation. But as long as we push tolerance, and I'm so disappointed that many uh, leaders across the body of Christ just feel like, if you just talk about tolerance and love, that that's going to fix it. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah. The Bible very clearly warns us throughout New Testament, Old Testament. Prophets called out sin. They called out what was wrong. The yeah. New Testament calls out what's wrong. It calls out sin. If we don't do that, people don't come out of their deception. Well, and they truth don't is get the only saved. way to come out. Yeah, yeah truth sets us free. So, Jesus, yeah. It was for freedom. Jesus came to set us free. And so. he tells us, do not be yoked with a bondage a slaver. We have people in the church world, in pews, pastoring churches, and we have people in the world that are all in darkness and without truth being exposed. This is a great book for pastors, okay. for leaders, Besides for every believer and an unbeliever. The book is great, but I want to just take a clip sure. if we can. I like to, uh, let's take a look at the, um, Drend on Guard. the Drend on Guard channel. 
as an example, what you do every Friday, I think it is. Is it when it is? Yes, Fridays? weekly, and we post weekly. other things on there. It's on Rumble, it's on YouTube, as long as they'll okay. let us be on there. So Drenda <laughs> is on guard, and she wants you to be on guard as well. Let's take a look at what's happening with Drenda on guard. If it feels like we're living in troubled times, both culturally and spiritually, it, it's happening, and you're not alone. There's a sense that things are just falling apart. Right. We're you know, in times even, we've never seen yeah, people across who the world. are not even believers are sensing that. Sure. So, yeah, yeah, people went, is it the end? I hear yeah. that a lot. And he said, is it just me, or does it seem as if they're trying to rebuild the Tower of Babel? <laughs> yes, they are. The 11th hour. The 11th hour. Yeah. We are in the 11th hour, aren't we? We are. We are. That's the place where you hear prophetic words from the Lord and you're able to make an 11th hour decision. It's not now my time to jump uh, and, and save myself from the boat that is sinking, <laughs> the church boat that is sinking, but it is my time to try to wake up those who are sleeping and um, say so loudly <laughs> the truth that they can hear it. To the prophetic, the prophets will hold his place mm. until he comes. Until he comes, wow, in the spirit. This is a clash of two worldviews, you know, yes. the Judeo-Christian yes. worldview and then the uh, ultimately the, the satanic uh, worldview. So, you know, to stand for God when everybody's saying, right. yeah, we're Christian, that doesn't mean much. You're following the crowd. But to stand for God when it may not be popular, that means everything. That's what, it's an honor to stand with the king when it counts. They ask you to renounce your writings, to renounce your faith, your stand of faith, and you said, I will not, I will stand. Yes, I will stand. <laughs> and we stand with you. That is amazing, and it's every week. Yes. And it is always aimed at uncovering Yes, it's cutting edge. We have to be living on guard. We have to expose the works of darkness. I've guessed consistently, and people that are helping us proclaim yes. truth yes. to and the lies of brainwashing. Is what you need now. And so go to uh, Drend on Guard every Friday or watch as you post things continually through the week sometimes. But also, you have to get the book Fight Like Heaven A Cultural Guide to Living on Guard. You'll see it on the screen how to get that. And you need it. So, again, thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time right here, same place, at Fixing the Money Thing. We'll see you.